It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking distributive property two different ways. Here's our question today. We're asked to consider this expression, negative 4 multiplied by the quantity negative 3x plus 1. And we are asked which of the following is equivalent to the expression. So here's where you're going to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see my solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So we have this expression and we want to find an equivalent expression and we're given four answer choices. So let's begin by understanding that we have a factor and a factor, but this inside factor is an algebraic expression that has two terms. So we need to share or distribute the negative four to the negative three X and the positive one and there's an invisible multiplication sign here. So we're finding the product, meaning we're multiplying. So the first thing we're going to do is identify our factors, and now we're going to distribute. So negative 4 times negative 3x, and then we're going to add negative 4 multiplied by 1. So again, you're sharing the negative 4 to both terms, and you're multiplying. Now the product of negative 4 and negative 3x is going to be positive, seeing as they have the same sign, 4 times 3 is 12 times x. And now we're going to do the product of negative 4 and 1. Any value multiplied by 1 is itself, so that gives me negative 4. And when we follow an addition sign and it's negative, we're going to trap that in parentheses. You never want to see add, subtract right next to each other. It's confusing. So. We have 12x add negative 4. And when we look at our answer choices, we can see that that is answer choice D. So this is the first way that I would show you. We call this distributing in a linear fashion. Now let's go and look at a second way. So again, equivalent, and we're going to multiply. So I'm going to set up what I call the area model. So here I have a rectangle set up into two halves. So we're going to find the area of this half, the area of this half, and then add them together. So we're going to take our negative 4 and we're going to multiply it by our expression. So here our factor negative 4 goes in and then our second term has a factor of negative 3x and a positive 1. So now we're ready. So to find the area of this first rectangle, negative 4 times negative 3x, which is 12x, and then negative 4 is my width and my length, or think of it as base and height. Negative 4 times positive 1 is negative 4. So think of it as finding this is your graphic organizer so that you don't forget to share to the second term. Now to find the area of the entire rectangle, I'm going to take the areas of both rectangles and add them together. So we have 12x add our negative 4, which again is answer choice D. So there you have it. That is distributive property two different ways. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.